Hi student, today is my our new topics for the form 5, that's a world of the microorganism. So from here, I will describe some of type of the microorganism and also show the diagram about the microorganism that you all can see clear about the uh, different or different type of the microorganism. Okay, come, let me start the lesson. Okay, first one, you go to introduction for the microorganism. That's a one of the things that cannot be seen by the neck eyes and you just only can be seen by using the help of the microscope. Okay, this one is an example for the sum of the microorganism. Okay, come, let's see the next one. Okay, we got normal or fora. Okay, microorganism, they found in the organism. Okay, including of the human and also the animals which do not cause about the illness. So that means this one is a normal microorganism. They already stay in your body, but they do not cause any illness for your body and also for the uh, human body and also the animal body. Okay, now we're going to see an example of the normal flora. Okay, first one, we got upper part of the uh, respiratory of the tract. Okay, example, there's a here. You can see this diagram. Okay, this one is the upper part. Okay, for the respiration. Okay, this one is example for the normal flora. There's an inside for your tract. Okay, now you can see about uh, some of the microorganism, the specific name. Okay, we got uh, Staphylococcus species. Uh, SP stands for species. We got Streptococcus. Okay, what's the difference? You see this one, Staphylococcus. They're just like the cocus shape. Okay, the sphere one. Okay, this one is a streptococcus. They're just like the uh, the sphere shape. After that, they join by link. Uh, that one is called streptococcus. Okay, the next one, they're from the skin. They also got the normal flora. Okay, let's see the example. Okay, we also got the staphylococcus. There's a spe uh, we need to mention about the species. Uh, SP stands for species. This one is a full name for the microorganism. Another one is a uh, corneal bacterium, also species. This one is create uh, they will appear at the skin there. Okay, this one is a, a microorganism. That means we cannot cannot uh, disappear that they already is there. Okay, then we go to the another part. They from the small intestine. Okay, small intestine, you can see the diagram. Okay, let's see what is a microorganism. Okay, we got Ancheriaceae and also the Lactobacillus and also the Tractococcus. Okay, the first one, Ancheriaceae, there's a coli. Okay, they're not mentioned about the species. For the Lactobacillus, they got species. And also the Streptococcus, they also is a species. So this one is an example like you can see about the different shape of the microorganism. Okay, and also we got the urethra. Urethra, they also got uh, the flora, normal flora microorganism. We also got the streptococcus, okay, streptococcus and also the canibacterium, okay. Both also is a species, okay. Corneal bacterium, uh, this one is a streptococcus. Okay, now we're going to see the definition, what means of the normal flora. Okay, normal flora, they compete with the pathogens to obtain the nutrient and also prevent the formation of colonies of the pathogens. So that means just there's a good things help your body to get the nutrients. Okay, number two, the normal flora, they also consist of the bacteria that synthesize the vitamin B12 and also the vitamin K. Normal flora also stimulate the growth of the body tissue. Okay, they also stimulate the production of the antibodies. They fight with the pathogens and also the diseases. So that means this one is a good microorganism. They stay in your body as a pathogen. Okay, now the important thing is a five group of the microorganism that we need to study today. Okay, so let's see the first part. Can you see this part just like the rod shape? Okay, this one we call it as a bacteria. Okay, another one, everybody also find it. Okay, this one just like the mushroom. This one is a fungi. Okay, now you can see the third part. Third part is just like the sleeper shape. Okay, this one we call it as a 
photos. Wow. Okay, then the number four, everybody can see it. This one also is famous now. We call it as a virus. And the last part, just like the uh, leaf, they got green color. So this one is a algae. So we got five of the microorganisms. So today, the main, we need to study about the fungi first. Then we go to algae. After that, we go to pathogen. So left two more, I will go to another section. Okay, so from here, I need to go through the characteristic for the fungi and also algae and also protozoa. So what the characteristic we need to mention? Okay, first one, normally we're talking about the nutrients, what they need to eat. Okay, number two, we're talking about the shape. Okay, how about the shape of the uh, this type of the microorganism? We're talking about the size. Okay, we're talking about the habitat. Okay, where they stay it. And also the last one is a reproduction. How they produce a the uh, coming generation okay so from here let's go to the one by one okay we go to fungi first okay let's see the size of the fungi okay this one is number for a fungi la. we got mushroom we got yeast we got muco okay muco is normally you find it as a, a little bit gray color on the bread after the expired date you can find it okay so from here Okay, the size of the fungi is very, they mean very small. They uh, they got two types. One, we got macroscopic for the fungi. We also call microscopic. So the microscopic, that means there's bigger size. There's a example, there's a mushroom. They can be seen by using the neck eyes. Okay, so the mushroom, that means you can see it just through your eyes only. No need to using the micro microscope. Okay, example for the microscopic, that means a smaller, a little bit example, there's a yeast and also the muco. Uh, the size is almost, it's a 10 micro. Micro means negative 6. Okay, that means you put the decimal point, you need to put in front 6 decimal point. Okay, until the 100 of the micrometer. So, it could only, you can see it by using microscope. Okay, but the fungi just like the muco. Okay, so you ask, why the muco I still can see? Okay, although you say they're very small, is it? Okay, because the muco, they normally exit is a chrononis and also the group. They gather together. So that's why you can see the uh, muco on the bread. So this one is a reason. Uh, we're only using the microscope. But the yeast, they're just one uh, unicell. So that means you need to using the microscope to observe what is the uh, shape, what is the size of the yeast. Okay, then we go the shape. Okay, the shape of the fungi. Okay, we got two type of the fungi. One is a unicell. Okay, unicell fungi just like the yeast. Just now I told you there's a unicell. Okay, they are shaped like the small sphere. Okay, another one is a multi-cell. Okay, multi-cell fungi just like the muco. There's a together, one group. Okay, they are normally made up of the, with the sporogym. Okay, this one we call for sporogym, which is a spherical. Okay, one round shape and also the hypha. Hypha is the bottom. Okay, you can see one straight line, one straight line, the chabang chabang one. The one we call it as a hypha. Okay, which is a filamentous. Okay, you can see the example. This one is a yeast. Okay, this one after through the microscope, we can see about the muco. Okay, they're just like the plant. After that, they got one of the sphere sh uh, the shape. This one we call it as a sporogym. Okay, now we see the shape uh, more clear. This one is a yeast. Okay, basic structure of the yeast. That's a unicell. Okay, now you see the multi-cell for the muco. This one is a shape. So this one, the label, this one is a sporogym. Then we got hypha. Hypha just like the, the strength at the bottom. This all thing, we call it as a hypha. Then inside the sporogym, we got spore. Okay, this spore will spread out. That means you find it they more grow, uh, grow more and grow more because they spread out more of the uh, the microorganism of the muco. Okay, now we go to nutrition of the fungi. Where they get the food? Okay, so they are unable to make their own food. So what they need to do? Okay, let's see the first one. Okay, some of the fungi there's a saprophyte. Saprophyte means they get the food from the dead object. That means the object, uh, they cannot function already. They're already dead. After that, they get the nutrient from there. 
So we call it as the saprophyte. Okay, saprophyte, the meaning they obtain the nutrient from the dead and also decaying organism. Okay, so another type for the uh, fungi, we call it as a parasite. Okay, parasite, they mean they still get the nutrients from the object that's still alive. So example, we call it as a okay horse. Okay, obtain the nutrient from their horse. I mean the horse is a still alive organism. So example, they just stay at the surface of the plant. Okay, then the plant still alive one. So we call it as a parasite. Okay, this one example for the wood. The wood is no use already. They just cut it. They're just on the ground. Okay, in the forest. That means they stay on the wood. That one we call it as a saprophyte. Okay, now it's a habitat for the fungi. Okay, normally the habitat for the microorganism that need the cetacean must be water. Okay, we must have the water. And also we must get the food easily. And also they don't like the sunshine. So they don't like the light. So they need stay at the dark cetacean. So from here the habitat is normally related with the nutrients. Okay, they're easier to get the nutrients. That means that one is a habitat for the microorganism. So from here, let's see the fungi habitat. Okay, that's uh, normally they're related with the nutrition. Okay, fungi is normally they live in the places that contain a lot of the decaying matter. Okay, sure lah, because they need the nutrients. Okay, feces and also animal skin and also the food. Okay, fungi also grow well in dark and also the moist places. Moist places mean they got liquid, they got water. After that, the dark situation that means they don't like the sunshine because the temperature is too high. Okay, now we go to last method. There's a reproduction for the fungi. Okay, fungi can uh, separate by two types of the reproduction. The first one we call it asexually. Okay, asexually we using the budding. You can see the shape. The budding means the spread to spread becomes smaller, smaller yeast after that become bigger. Okay, so this one is an example for the budding. Okay, when starting, there's a one yeast after that they will spread out. Okay, then the spread become the small, we call buds. After that, they will separate, then become new of the yeast. So this one we call it use reproduction by using the budding. Okay, unicell fung uh, the fungi such as a yeast. They're using reproduction by using the air sexually. There's a budding. Okay, we still got another type of the uh, reproduction method. Okay, we call it as a uh, conjugation. This one is a asexually. Okay, as uh, sorry, asexually is for the uh, the this one uh, uh, budding. But another type we call it sexually. Sexually is using the concept is a conjugation. So from here, the multi-cell fungi such as the muco. Just now we show you the muco, is it? They got spore one. The muco reproduce sexually by using the spore formation. Okay, let's see the diagram for spore formation later. This one is uh, another one is sexually by using the conjugation. So that means conclusion for the yeast. They just got asexual, that's a body. But for the muco, that's a multi-cell, they got two types. Okay. First type we call it as a asexually. Okay, but they're using the spore formation. Another one is a sexually. They're using the conjugation. Okay, let's see the diagram. Okay, this one's a diagram. Okay, can you see the sporogym? They spread out. They spread out the spore. So this one we call it as a asexually reproduction. Okay, just formation of the spore. Then the spore will go surrounding lah. After that, they come out the new muco. Okay, another one, we're using the conjugation. Conjugation is a sexually. That means you can find it. The hypha will find another hypha. After that, they're doing the process of the conjugation. Then this one is normally the genetic exchange. Okay, exchange the gene uh, genetic. After that, they produce a new products. So this one, we call it as a sexual. There's a conjugation. Okay, so from here they say the spore are microscopic cell released by the sporogym. Okay, this one just come out, we call it as a spore. 
Okay, in the conjugation process, the meeting of the hyphae, they occur gametes. Okay, for the sexually, they normally got gametes. After that, they produce and also the fertilization of the gametes produce a new muco. So this one process, we call it as a conjugation. Okay, now the third, uh, I think the fourth part, uh, fifth part for the fungi, they already finished. Okay, repeat again, there's a size, there's a shape. After that, we got nutrients. After that, we got the uh, habitat. And the last one is a matter of reproduction. Okay, now we go to another microorganism, there's an algae. Okay, so we go through the size of the algae. Okay, let's see the algae size. Okay, that's got different size. Okay, different sizes of the algae. Okay, we got macroscopic of the algae. Example is a sea algae. Okay, this one is a sea algae. Lah. I mean bottom of the sea. Okay, you can find it. The green color, that one, you call it algae. Okay, which can be seen by using your net eyes. Okay, we also got microscopic, the smallest one, such as a spirogyra. This, can, this one is a spirogyra. Okay, the spirogyra, this also is a green color. Okay, can you find it? This one, microorganism, there's a green color. Okay, another one, this, this part. This one called it Chlamydominus species. Okay, they also is a green color. So that means we need to conclude the algae almost all is a green color. Why they look like the green color? Because inside they got chlorophyll. Okay, they got chlorophyll. So that's why they form the situation. There's a green color. So it's measure the size is almost is a one micrometer to the hundred of the micrometer. So this one is the size of the algae. Okay, now the second one we go to the shape. Okay, also same. We got unicell, we got multicell. Okay, unicell is a chemidominus. Okay, we see the diagram. Okay, this one is a chlamydominus. That's a unicell. Okay, for the multicell alga, we got Okay, spirogyra. This one is a spiro, uh, we call it as spirogyra. Okay, spirogyra is a multicell because they're continuous. Then they become longer, one of the green color, uh, just like the line, lah, just like the belt. Okay, green color belt. So they have choropras. So that's why both also see there's a green color. They got choropras. After that, inside the choropras, they got chlorophyll. Okay, so this one is a structure for the chlamydominus. This one is a structure for the spirogyra species. Okay, then we get the nutrients. Lah. Just now I mentioned already they got chlorophyll. So from here, the algae sure they get the food by own because they can make the food by using the photosynthesis process. So from here, most of the algae are green in color because the presence of the chlorophyll in their cell. So from here, this is differences okay, between the other microorganisms. The algae, they got chlorophyll. So finally, they en enable it to carry out the process of the photosynthesis to produce their own food. That means they no need to stay at the saprophyte or no need to stay for the parasite. Okay, that means they still can get their own food. Okay, by using the process of photosynthesis. So from here, five microorganisms, we just got algae, can do the process of photosynthesis because they got own chloroplast. Okay, inside the chloroplast, they got chlorophyll. Okay, then we go to the next characteristic. Okay, we got habitat. Okay, where they need to stay. Just now we mentioned already that we will do the process of uh, photosynthesis, is it? So that means they need the sunshine. Okay, they need the sunshine and also the water. So let's see here. Okay, we need the fresh water. We need the salt water, moist soil and also the tree bugs that are exposure to the sunlight. So that means they cannot at the bottom, they might at the top because they get the sunlight. Okay, now the method for reproduction. Okay, again, reproduction, we just separate by two parts, sexually and also asexually. Okay, let's see here. Okay, first one, they're talking about the 
unicell, clamidominus. This one is a clamidominus species. Normally, they're doing the reproduction by using producing asexually by binocular fission. Okay, binocular, uh, sorry, is binary fission. Binary fission, that means they split up. Okay, two split become four, four split become eight. The one we call binary fission. And using the sexually, sexually normally we call it as a conjugation. The conjugation is normally is a gametes. Okay, they exchange the gametes after they got fertilizer. So that one is called it as a sexually. Okay, it's for the spirogyra, this one is a spirogyra species. They reproduce sexually by using the conjugation. So dominance, they got two methods to produce the uh, new generation. They can using the sexually. They also can using asexually. But for the spirogyra, they just got one type. There's a sexually by using the conjugation. Okay, now we can see the diagram. So this one is an example for the asexually. They're using the binary. So you can find it the binary just like the mitosis only. So this one is the first one. After that, they split the cell. Okay, the cell after they split, they come out the new generation, the same like the actual, uh, the original one. So this was a mitosis. This one we call it as a asex, uh, asexual reproduction. So another one, this one we call it sexual reproduction. There's a conjugation. Okay, this one they're using the exchange of the gametes. So the when starting, okay, they got two types of the different gametes of the uh, spirogyro. Oh, sorry, this one is a clamidominus. So after that, they do the process of conjugation. You find it. There's a crossover. Okay, crossover. After that, they produce two, uh, two of the uh, clamidominus. After that, they split out. They got zygote. Okay, after that, they're doing the process of meiosis. Okay, meiosis means they will come out the new products. So the new product here, we call it there's a new cell. Okay, the new cell, when it just come out, the characteristic, the shape, okay, there's a difference with the parents. Okay, because this one is a sexually reproduction. Okay, so you make sure the difference with the asexual and also the sexual. Asexual, they're using the process of mitosis. For the sexual, they're using the process of meiosis. Okay, so this one we call it called as a conjugation process lah conjugation process okay now we go to third of the microorganism there's a protozoa okay you can see the protozoa the shape they're almost same like the sleeper okay protozoa is a unicell there's a one of the biggest okay among the uh, microorganism lah. okay but we still cannot using our neck eyes to see it okay so this one is a sum of the example for the protozoa Okay, we go through to the first part. There's a size. Okay, most of the protozoa, there's a unicell. Okay, unicellular microorganism. So, the measuring five, 5 micrometer to 250 micrometer. They can be seen under the low power of the light micro, microscope. That means you still need to use microscope. But now, you don't need using the high power. Just low power only. Then the protozoa does a normally exist in the coronis. There's a one group is together. Okay, after that we go through to the shape. Okay, okay, the shape. This one is a, a structure for the uh, paramecium. So one type of the protozoa we call it as a paramecium. Okay, paramecium the shape just like the sleeper. Okay, so from here they explain for you. Protozoa, they have various of the size and also the shapes. Okay, now we're going to see here. This one is a sleeper shape. Has a structure just like the micronucleus. Okay, inside we got micronucleus, the smallest one. We also got the macronucleus, the biggest one. Okay, after that we got cytoplasm. Okay, the cytoplasm is this one. The inside we got dot dot dot, that one is a cytoplasm. After that, we got food vacuole. Okay, the food vacuole, there's a here. Then we got contracts, uh, contracts style. Okay, the contract style, there's a here. This one, contract style of the vacuole. Okay, vacuole, this one is a chocolate color. This one is a white color. 
Okay, after that, we got cell membrane. Cell membrane is a, a just like the thing to cover the whole paramecium. Okay, and also the tiny hair, the outside one, the one with the tiny hair. So this one we call it as a cilia. Okay, so this one is a structure for the paramecium. Okay, another type for the uh, protozoa, they call it amoeba. Okay, you can see the uh, diagram of the amoeba. The shape is not fixed one. Okay, we cannot say this one's shape is a, uh, you can say about a cloth. Or you can say another shape because the shape is not fixed. So from here, they can say that does not have the fixed shape. Okay, it's keep changing the shape while moving. So that means the outside, this all thing, that will help. Uh, the amoeba to move when it just move you find it the shape will be changes okay it has a structure just like the nucleus okay they still got the nucleus and still got the cytoplasm after that food vacuum and also the contratile vacuum and also the cell membrane still the same okay so all the thing for the paramecium and amoeba the structure still almost the same okay then Next one should be the nutrition. Okay, nutrition for the algrina. Okay, algrina species. The carry out of the photosynthesis. Okay, still the same photosynthesis, but just a small part only, only algrina. Okay, for the plasmodium. Okay, plasmodium species, there is a parasitic protozoa. That means just like the parasite. Okay, for the plasmo plasmodium. Okay, after that, we got amoeba. Okay, amoeba is using the projection of its cytoplasm. So see, this one's a diagram, lah, how they get the nutrients. Okay, they're using the projection of its cytoplasm, we know as pseudopodium. Okay, pseudopodium. Okay, we're using a pseudopodium, just like this one, they want to catch, want to catch the food. So this one, we call it as a force feed. To move after that and give food during the Fatto, oh, this one how to pronounce that? Uh, we call it as a phagocytosis. Okay, phagocytosis. Okay, so that means this process amoeba they're using the uh, this one. We call it as a projection. After that, cytoplasm. Okay, this process we call it as a pseudopodium. Okay, after that, they we also can add, call it as a force feed. Okay, using the feed. Okay, after that, to move, after that, to go to and give the food during the phagocytosis. Okay, that means they catch the food. Okay, so from here, the protozoa also practice the different type of the nutrient. Because so many different types. The first one, they show there's a arena already, is it? Photosynthesis. Another one is a, a parasite. Uh, parasit. Okay, another one, amoeba, they want to catch the food. Okay, and also from here, they say they obtain the nutrient through the phagocytosis. So phagocytosis means the whole process, how they go to catch the food. Okay, so this one is a diagram. How come the amoeba using the food, uh, phagocytosis to get the nutrients? So from here, the first one, they say amoeba, they move towards the food. Okay, then... They're using this process, the sotobodium. Okay, the site, the phosphate, we call it sotobodium. Okay, the, and give to the food. Cover the food first. Okay, after they cover the food, now you can find it. They're just like the food vacuole. Now the food vacuole is formed inside the amoeba. Okay, so from here, the food is digested and also the nutrients are absorbed. So this one is a process for the phagocytosis of amoeba. Okay, let's see the habitat for the for, uh, the protozoa. Okay, we got paramecium, is it? So the paramecium uh, species, they will stay at the freshwater location. Then the amoeba, they're including for the moist soils because they need the liquid. They also can say they stay at the freshwater, seawater and uh, and also it's horse okay so this one is an example for the habitat but normally this one they also need the dark situation okay okay the last part should be the method of the reproduction 
Okay, let's see here. Okay, we got binary fission. Remember, the binary fission is a A sexually. So you can find out. This one, do diagram also is a binary fission. So you can find it the paramecium, the split. Okay, split become two. Then the amoeba also same. The shape after that go to split. So this one is a process for the mitosis. Okay, they start to divide division. Okay, they go to division of the nucleus followed by the division of the cytoplasm. They start by separate the cytoplasm. Okay, after that, the paramecium species and also the amoeba species then reproduce the air sexually by using the binary fission. Okay, then the parent cell, they divide into two to form the two daughter. Okay, this one is a parent. After that, split to become daughter cell, which have similar genetic material as the parents. So that means now the daughter, when it just come out, all the genetic, the same like the parents, because this one is a process for mitosis. Okay, then we go to the another method for reproduction. There's a sexual reproduction of the paramecium by using conjugation. So conjugation is a sexually process. So sexually process, that means they got exchange of the gametes. Okay, when they exchange to the gametes, there's a meiosis. Then they also will produce a daughter. Now the daughter should be four daughters. Okay, just now it's two, is it? Now become four daughters. Okay, these are four daughters. They get the genetic should be different with the parents. So from here, the paramecium, they also produce a sexually by using conjugation. So two of the paramecium species, unique after that, they exchange the genetic material occurs. So this one is uh, what I want to discuss for three types of the microorganism uh, for the this topic. So the next one I will go through for the bacteria and also the virus. Okay, remember the five main points I need to explain for every microorganism. There's a size, there's a shape, there's a nutrients, habitat, and also the method of reproduction. So the method of the reproduction is almost the same. There's a sexually and also asexually. Okay, sexually normally is a binary fission. Okay, just for the yeast, yeast is a different. Sexually, uh, asexually they're using is a budding, budding, using the budding. Okay, but for the sexually, almost all is using the concept for the conjugation. Okay, so this one is uh, almost the same lah for the reproduction method. Okay, so our lesson just until uh, this one, protozoa first. Then the next one, we'll see you soon. I will record it. After that, I will share to you. Okay, just thank you for your watching. Hope you can subscribe my channel. Okay, thank you. Bye.